In this example, a rectangular box is to be made so that the top and bottom are squared. The volume is to be 250 cubic centimeters. Material for the top and bottom costs $2 per square centimeter, but the material for the size costs only $1 per square meter. What dimensions will give a minimum cost for the materials and what is that minimum cost? From the diagram provided, we have the rectangular box with the bottom and the top in the square shape. And the dimensions as the base, as the square base, they have the same dimensions as X and X and the height as the Y. With the information that we are given as the volume to be 250 cubic centimeters. So the formula for the volume of the box or the rectangular box is the length times the width times the height. In our case, the length is X, the width is X and the height is Y or the volume is X squared times Y. The restriction is the volume will be 250. Therefore, we have Y in the relationship as Y equals 250 divided by X squared. So we're gonna keep this on the side and we'll use it when we work on the function of the cost. And the restriction for the X in X and Y are dimensions. We make a note that X will be greater than zero, Y will be greater than zero, because if it is zero, it will be no box. The goal of this is to minimize the cost, but to find the dimensions that minimize the cost. So we're gonna work on looking at the cost function or building the cost function and find a critical value to that minimize the cost for this situation. Okay, from the cost information, the top and bottom, the cost will be $2 per square feet, a square centimeter, but the material for the size costs $1 per square centimeter. So I'm gonna put a note here for the cost for the top and bottom, top and bottom <clears throat> in the square form and the dimension that would be X times X, X times X, same square. The cost is $2 per square centimeters. $2. And then for the size, we have like four size. The base, the dimension X, the height is the Y, but you have four of them. And the cost on the side of the material would be a dollar per square centimeter. Okay, from the prep information here, we're gonna put together as we are building the cost function. So the cost function or the total cost will be the cost of the top and bottom material plus the cost of the size material. The four size. You should see notation for the cost. For the top and bottom, since they are like two squares or each size is the X, the dimension is X by X. That means we're gonna find the length here as the X and the X, the material, that means we find the area, how much that we need for uh, the side, oh no, sorry, for the top and the bottom. So gonna be the cost, which is $2 and multiply by two because you have like two square here, one for the top and the other one for the bottom and multiply by the, the, uh, the area of the top or the bottom, which is X times X or X squared put here. 
the area equals x squared. And then for the cost of the size, there are four sizes, and the material is $1 per square centimeter, going to be $1 multiplied by four size and the dimension x and y, so x times y. The area here is x times y, but you have four of them because four size. So put them together one by one, two times two, that's four times x squared plus one times four, which is four times x times y. Right now, we have the equation of the cost involving both x and y. Recall in the box here that we set on the side, y in terms of x as 250 divided by x squared. So we're going to replace the y with the 250 divided by x squared. And then the cost function will depend only on x. So we have 4x squared plus 4 times x times 250 divided by x squared. Simplify it to be 4x squared plus 20, uh, 250 times 4, that's 1,000. x and x squared reduced to be over x. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is cost function. All right, we get the cost function. I'm going to box it. Next, we're going to find the critical value. I'm going to find the critical. Critical x that minimize the cost. To find the critical value, we're going to find the derivative of the cost function or the C prime. Again, the, C, the Cx is so x squared, but the second term here, we just rewrite it as 1,000 times x to the negative first. So when we find the derivative, it's going to be easier because we look at it as the power function. The derivative of the cost is 8x minus 1,000 times x to the negative second, or write it as 8x minus 1,000 divided by x squared, as we rewrite as a reciprocal of the positive power. Rewrite it as one single fraction by finding the common denominator. So we're going to multiply the first term by x squared, both top and bottom, to get 8x times x squared becomes x to the third power minus <clears throat> 1,000 divided by um, x squared. And this is the C prime or the first derivative of the cost. To find the critical value, we're going to consider the cost of the C prime equal zero. That means we're going to solve for x with the 8x to the third minus 1,000. Eight x to the third equals <clears throat> one thousand. X to the third equals one thousand divided by eight. <clears throat> Excuse me. So x is the cube root of one thousand divided by eight. And if you do it manually, so this one is the cube root of one thousand, and the bottom is the cube root of eight. If <clears throat> you recall the cube number, uh, the cube root of a thousand is. <clears throat> 10 divided by the cube root of 8, which is 2. And then we get the number just 5 for the x. Now we get the dimension of the base as the x by x or 5 by 5 centimeters. And next, we're going to use it to find y. What is the relationship of x and y? As we got earlier in the yellow box here, y is 250 divided by x squared. That is 250 divided by 5 squared, and 5 squared is 25. Therefore, y is 250 divided by 25 and turns out to be 10. So we have the dimensions as x equals 5 and y equals 10. When you look at the box, <clears throat> excuse me, so x, x, and then y. So going to be 5 by 5 by 10 centimeters. Um, to confirm that the x that we get will, or the critical number we get, will give you the minimum value. So we use the second derivative test. 
<coughs> excuse me, the second derivative test from the C, C prime X in the form of, I'm gonna go back to C the notes here, eight X minus a thousand times X to the negative second. So we're gonna use the C prime to find C double prime or the derivative of it to get eight minus 1000. This is a thousand times negative two times X to the negative third sim simplify to be, uh, this is eight X, okay. So gonna be eight plus 2000 divided by x to the third for the second derivative. As you notice that the eight is positive side, the second term gonna, <clears throat> gonna be positive for x greater than zero, which is a restriction of the dimension. Since the c double prime or the second derivative is greater than zero, we use the icon like you know the concave up. That means you're gonna see the local minimum occurs at the x that we obtain by we call it as a critical number so that's the guarantee that the dimensions that we found will provide the minimum cost value so it's confirmed so the answer is x equals 5 by equals 10 or 5 by 5 by 10 Unit is centimeters. <clears throat>